So the forecast for the period October to November stretching into December, we refer to it as the short rains, principally because it takes a shorter time compared to the earlier one that takes place in the year, March, April and May. The short rains for 2022 season constitutes an important rainfall season in Kenya, particularly in the central and south eastern regions of the country. The seasonal forecast indicates with high confidence that most parts of the country are likely to experience depressed rainfall with higher probabilities over the eastern sector. During the season, it is likely that most areas will have a generally poor distribution of rainfall in both time and space. The forecast also indicates that the start of the rainfall season is likely to be delayed across much of the eastern parts of the country. Despite the expected depressed rains, isolated incidences of storms that could cause flash floods are still likely to occur. The temperature forecast indicates that for the larger part of the country, the season will likely bring warmer than average temperatures, especially over the eastern parts of Kenya. The country is already experiencing drought conditions, particularly in the arid and semi-arid counties, due to inadequate rainfall over the last four consecutive seasons. A fifth season with failed rainfall would be devastating for the millions of people already suffering from the drought. The expected depressed October, November, December rainfall season will be driven by cooler than average sea surface temperatures over the western equatorial Indian Ocean which is adjacent to the East African coastline. Coupled with warmer than average sea surface temperatures over the eastern equatorial Indian Ocean, which is close to Australia. This constitutes a negative Indian Ocean dipole that is unfavorable for enhanced rainfall over most of East Africa. So what we are saying is that we are observing a reversal of what we are used to so that when we talk about normal, normal is what we are used to and we are seeing something like a reversal. The areas that are likely to receive below average rainfall are counties in the Lake Victoria Basin which include Siaya, Kisumu, Homa Bay, Migori, Kisi, Nyamira, highlands west of the Rift Valley and Central and South Rift Valley, Transoya, Baringo, Wasingishu, Ergeo Maraquet, Nandi, Kericho, Kakamega, Vihiga, Bungoma, Busia, Laikipia, Nakuru, and Narok. Counties in northwestern Kenya, that is Turkana, West Pokot, and Samburu. Parts of the highlands <coughs> east of the Rift Valley, Nyandarwa, Nyeri, Kirinyaga, Muranga, Kiambu, parts of Embu and Nairobi, as well as parts of the southeastern Kenya which include parts of Machakos and Kajiado counties. The areas with increased probabilities for below average, or you could say highly depressed rainfall, are northeastern counties, Mandera, Marsabit, Wajir, 
Garissa and Isiolo. The coastal region, Mombasa, Tana River, Kilifi, Lamu and Kwale. Parts of southeastern Kenya, Kitui, Makweni, parts of Machakos, Taita Taveta and Kajiado. Some counties in the highlands east of the Rift Valley, parts of Embu, Taraka and Taraka Nithi and Meru. However, a small section of the western sector of the country, such as Bungoma, Kakamega, Busia, Transoya, and West Pokot, are likely to receive near average, tending towards below average rainfall. The expected distribution of the rainfall in this season of October, November, December, and cessation as well as onset dates. The October, November, December 2022 20, rainfall is expected to be poorly distributed, <coughs> both in time and space, during the onset month of October and the peak month of November. The onset and, on and uh, cessation dates. The forecast indicates that most parts of the country will experience a late onset and an early cessation. This is especially apparent in the eastern sector. Several parts of the highlands west of the Rift Valley, the Lake Victoria Basin, the central and southeast south, south Rift Valley, and the Lake Victoria Basin will continue to receive light rains in September. The first column indicates the region. The second one indicates the onset date. We have the cessation dates in the third column. The last one, the last column indicates the distribution that we expect to see. What we are seeing in the the column labeled distribution is indicating that the distribution is going to be poor compared to what we are used to seeing during this season in the specific areas. I think we can also show the map that uh, shows the it gives the same message but in a different pictorial form. Largely the map of Kenya indicating the likelihoods of normal to above or even below normal. Like I said, we are mainly featuring Kenya and what we expect in the various zones during the season. The map indicates, map indicates that we have divided the country into three zones. Zone one, zone two, and zone three. In zone one, we see the possibility of normal to below normal as higher. Actually, that is the case in all the three zones. It's just the percentages that are different. Zone one, zone two and zone three. The possibility of getting below no more mm -hmm. is high in each case and you should be able to get all that information from the maps as indicated. Thank you very much.